What's up people? So today we're out in my backyard. Uh, this little pond that Matt dug out, we're gonna go ahead and add to it now. Uh, there's hardly any shade out here in my backyard. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna build a pergola over the top of it. It's gonna be a six by eight. I think it's gonna be a, about six or seven feet tall as well. So it's nothing too crazy. So we should be able to get it done today. I've already pre-dug all the holes. Next thing to do is put all the four by fours in there and cement them in, let it dry, and then we can start building. All right, so the total for today's build is roughly $120. That's including all the wood, uh, four bags of cement, some stain, paint brushes, an energy drink. Everything is treated, so it should last a long time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and fill in the holes with cement, put the uh, four by four post in there, make sure everything's level, and then we'll get to building after that. I mixed in half of the cement. Ugh. I'll pour some in and then mix the other half. Try to make sure it stays straight. All right, so now that I got everything level, I'm gonna mix the other half of the bag and pour it over the top, and then this pole will be ready to go. <sighs> Sorry, people.
All right, so I got the first pole set in place. It sticks up maybe about six and a half feet, seven feet tall. This thing's not gonna be perfectly straight when Matt did the pond. It was a little bit uh, to the side. It wasn't directly facing the house, but I'm gonna make the pergola face directly towards the house. That way it matches up with the other pergola that we have over here, which that's what's gonna look like hopefully at the end. But I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys down. I'm gonna put the other three posts in and then we'll be ready to build after the cement dries. All right, so I got all four posts in. They're all level, they're in line. Uh, I haven't measured how high it is. I'm guessing about six to seven feet tall. Uh, it's gonna be about eight feet wide, six feet deep. I'm gonna put some two by sixes, like up there on the other pergola, going uh, from front to back on each side, one, two, and then same on this side, one, two, and I'm gonna go back with some two by fours and go across the top, and then that'll be pretty much the structure completed. We'll go back in and stain it. And then uh, the dog pond will have a little bit of shade throughout the day. I am planning on getting a little shade cloth as well, just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Over here on my cabana, it's this black shade cloth. It definitely works. It puts off a nice uh, amount of shade back here. Of course, right now the sun's still trying to come up, but it does shade off this little area over here. Any bit of shade out here helps, and that's exactly why I wanted to build this pergola. Uh, the total cost once again is about 120 dollars so while this stuff sets i'm gonna go ahead and clean up everything and then we'll check back in once it's dry all right now that the cement's dry i'm starting to put up the boards on the top i did put a brace across the right side over here i believe it's about uh, 83 inches long it's a two by six i put one on the outside of my four by fours now i'm about to put one on the inside i gotta make sure everything's level so i'm gonna go ahead and put you guys down put the other board up and make sure everything is level and then we'll move over to the other side So it looks like I need to bring the back side down a hair. It's hard to see the level. All right, that looks pretty good. So I know some of you guys are probably gonna ask where Matt's at. I told him not to come out here. I wanted to try to do this project from start to finish on my own, just to prove to you guys that anybody can do this i am not a carpenter by any means nothing comes out perfect but hey it ends up looking decent in the end so as you can see i got the braces on the inside now i'm going to move over to this side none of the poles are exactly the same height so what i'm doing is i'm having to adjust uh, the the braces that go across the top 
and then I might go back in and just cut the tips off of the uh, four by fours but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this other side done so I'm gonna go put you down and get back to work and yes I know this would be a lot easier to do with two people but I'm challenging myself today to see if I get this done in one day by myself Now that I got both sides up, next comes the two by fours, running it across, make sure everything's level, screw them in, and it'll be ready right to stain. So I have the pergola up now, everything's screwed in. I am thinking about adding in some tin along the bottom, like there is over here on the man cave, just to kind of tie everything in. So I'm probably going to run to Lowe's, pick up uh, three sheets of tin, a few more extra two by fours to make the trim for it. But overall, I like the way it came out. It's probably about seven feet tall. It will pull off, put off a little bit of shade until we get the other cloth to put on top. And then uh, Matt came out here just a second ago and uh, had some extra plans for the actual pond. So let's go talk to him and see what he says. All right, people. So Jared did not allow me to come help him build the pergola. He said he wanted to do that solo. So now that he's got that done, it's kind of making this look like trash. So what I'm thinking is getting rid of these steps for sure. Oh, I, you're I'm saying like, that my stuff makes it look like trash? I mean, this whole thing has just kind of been like... Oh, one fix after another? Yeah, pretty much. So I want to get better rocks to go across here. These were just some that Jared had here on the property and put around. And then, uh, like you said, he's going to enclose this with the tin like over there. So I'm going to expand the rocks out all the way over here. So that plant and this plant is going to have to be dug up, moved out to the side. And then I'll expand the back tall with the, the white rock and the lava rock and stuff like that. Better stones around here. And then uh, I'm probably going to pull up this border and come around the front with it this way. That way the rocks will be right here in the front. And it'll just look a whole lot better than this. And then these I'm going to put in front of the barn where it's always muddy, where the water drips down. So we don't have to jump over that puddle every time. All right, guys, we just got back from Home Depot. Matt's starting to clean out part of the pond. He's going to redo it on his video. Yes, we're going to redo it once again, but we have a big plan coming on here. I'm going to be adding in the framing and adding in the metal here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on time lapse while I get this done. And we'll check back in once everything's up. All right, so I have the frame completely done now, minus putting on the tin over here, but I'm gonna stain this thing first. It's a gun stock color what I'm gonna do. And once that's done and dried, I'm gonna go ahead and add on this tin, and then the structure should be completed, and then Matt can start working on finishing out the pond here. But you can already see it's starting to put off a little bit of shade from the two by fours. Once I get that shade cloth, it should be able to completely shade this whole section for most of the day. 
Just giving you guys a little walk around of it. Not perfect by any means, but it'll work. All right, guys, so the frame's up. Next thing to do is just stain everything. I gotta do everything by hand, so it's gonna take me a bit. I'm gonna put you down the tripod. Let's get to work. All right guys, so we got most of it stained already. Uh, Matt did help me out with that. All we need to do is just stain the top up here, as you can see. The rest of it looks pretty much like the cabana over here. So Matt's gonna take a quick break and he's gonna finish off staining this. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this uh, sides with the metal. Hopefully everything fits good. I already pre-cut all the metal sheets. So we're gonna put them on and see how they look. All right, people, I got all the tin up now. It's starting to match the cabana over here. Looks like we only have about three or four more uh, two by fours at the top to go ahead and stain. I don't know if I have enough stain, but we'll see. Yeah, so we're gonna see how much we can get with the rest of the stain. You guys get the idea. I was trying to mimic this. And I think I achieved it. But you can already see it's starting to put off a little bit of shade down there and once I get that cloth, it should shade the whole thing pretty good. All right, people, it is done. Uh, start to finish in one day, total cost of about $200 to have a six by eight pergola that's about seven feet tall. Check it out, guys. Heck yeah, I'm very pleased. It's got the bright tin on the bottom. It's got that rustic wood look. 
it matches everything over here in the cabana the shoot dang shack the fence and everything it's just one more thing to make this backyard complete this is something i wanted to do since matt uh decided he wanted to put in a little pond here for the dogs i figured why not put a little cover over it keep it a uh, nice and cool for the dogs i will be putting over a, a shade cloth once again i'm gonna get on amazon i think they're about 20 bucks i'll just uh, staple it on there and it'll just put off more shade but as you can see down here it is already starting to put off a little bit of shade along with all the tin let's go take a closer look so once again this is just a little dog pond just something to look at in the yard got that corrugated tin there's all the two by fours that matt just finished staining do the pond yeah so on if y'all go to matt's channel it's grilling grilling and chilling he's gonna redo the pond for the last time we picked up some extra bricks and stuff maybe not for the last time but hopefully for a long while possibly but all the grass that's on the inside that's probably gonna be covered up with some plastic or something lined with rocks it's gonna look a lot better than it is right now so get a good look and then go over to the grilling grilling and chilling check out his video he hasn't a uh, done it yet so it'll probably be a day or so and then uh check it out tell them i sent you guys over any last words for the people matt uh, i should have worn that little thing you wore when you stained because my skin's turning trump color yeah i got a, a lot of stain on me as well but overall it took about four hours to get this completed from start to finish that's uh including the uh I guess the cement drying maybe five hours with the cement drying but overall start to finish pergola in my backyard comment down below let me know what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one peace